Were you a fan of the series? Did you read the books before getting on this show? No, I didn't know anything about it, to be honest. Um, and surprisingly enough, because I am a fan of that genre, uh -huh. I love anything that is fantastic, like those fantastic worlds, the vampires, the werewolves, um, the Harry Potters, the Lord of the Rings, you know, it, it's all similar. Uh -huh. I mean, it's all very... So I'm a huge fan of those those movies and those books. So how come I didn't know about it? I, I was living under a rock, apparently. <laughs> yeah. uh, but when I found out um, that I got the part, I, I just, and even when I auditioned for it, it was during pilot season. So, you uh -huh. know, you get a lot of auditions and I, I didn't have time to read up about it. I was like, I didn't even know who McG was. Uh -huh. He knows this. I told him. I was reading the director is MCG. Uh -huh. I thought he was like an ex-DJ turned director. <laughs> Yeah, I've told him this, so he thought I was an idiot. Um, but uh, so I had no idea what the project was. Uh -huh. I was just going through the motions. And personally, it was a weird time in my life. So I was just like going through, putting myself on tape. And then when I got the call 10 days later, oh a Sunday night, I was watching a movie. And my agent said, it was 9 o'clock. I was like, remember that audition you hated? Because I hated my audition. Uh, they want you. So I was like which one is this again? It's like, go online now and research it. And I went online. I was like, oh my God. Okay. This is huge. What? Okay. Um, so I was thrilled uh -huh. when I, cause he only called me the next day to confirm it. And he's like, pack your ba bags. You're leaving tonight. Cause you're working tomorrow morning. Oh my God. So it was all very, very quick. And, uh, so I showed up in Toronto on Tuesday morning and we were shoot. I was starting to shoot uh, Thursday. That was our first wow, day. Wow, that quickly. The whole opening uh -huh. sequence with the monster in the water and everything, uh -huh. that was shot the first day. Wow. Yeah. So it was very intense, but I was thrilled. I was in that park that day on Thursday morning. It was a beautiful day, and I was like, wow, I'm so lucky to be embarking on this adventure. It's just like, this character is gonna be amazing, and I was thrilled. Uh huh. It sounds like it's kind of been like a huge whirlwind for you and went really quickly. Did you even get a chance to read up on any of the books and oh. kind of read what happened there? Yeah, I read the first book. Okay. Um, I am extremely superstitious, uh -huh. and I don't want to jinx anything, so I'm, I am just waiting to hear if we're getting a second season. Right, uh -huh. And then I'll read the rest, <laughs> because I don't want to jinx it every time I get involved. But, you know, I did get a tattoo. <gasps> no way! Is that real? Yes! Oh my gosh, you yeah. guys! We, we all... Well, no, actually I think Isaiah didn't get... No, Isaiah didn't get the tattoo, but we pretty much all got the angel rune no at the way. rap party. Yes, yeah. That is the coolest thing yes, I've ever it. heard it from a cast. Everywhere. Yeah, it was everywhere on, on, on Twitter and... I don't know how yeah. I missed this. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, the, so I got it there. So I was like, wow. as I was getting it, I was like, we better get a second season because this is pretty obvious, but uh, but it's a beautiful tattoo. I, love I think it. it's a beautiful, yeah, the angel. I definitely think you guys have to get picked up for a second season just for getting the tattoos. We're marked, <laughs> we're marked we're for marked. life. Yeah. We need it. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, go back to the very first ep uh, the first scene that you filmed. You said you were there, you know, at the park, and the monster comes out. How do you get into those kind of scenes? Because obviously a lot of it's done in post-production and CGI, yeah. Yeah, it's not easy. Uh, fortunately, the guys, the CGI guys were there. Mm -hmm. So they actually showed me what the monster was going to look oh, like. Cool. So uh, on paper, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was on paper, and you know, McG is such an amazing director that he just described everything that we were going to see, that I was going to see. Uh -huh. um, so it was pretty easy, actually. Um, but they're never, I mean, going into it, you kind of go, I'm looking at nothing. This yeah. is <laughs> odd. I feel like an idiot. Uh -huh. You always feel stupid yeah. when you're like, you're like, oh, I have such a great imagination. No, you feel ridiculous. And, um, but, you know, I was well surrounded, so it was pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Same goes probably for, like, the sword scenes. Like, when obviously they're shooting out, I assume that's not really actually happening. You probably have, like, a little stub, right? Yeah, well, we <laughs> shoot it uh, in two different ways. We, we shoot it with a stub, and then we shoot it with the actual sword. Oh, okay. So, I don't know why, but anyway, they, they mix it up. And for the fight scenes, we mm -hmm. have 
um, one fighting sword that we can actually hit each other oh, with, okay. uh -huh. and they have little lights on them. Uh -huh. So I'm actually going to post a video of my fight scene uh, that was shot with an yeah. iPhone, so that fans can see what it's like. But so we can actually hit each other. But the nice, beautiful lit swords you cannot touch. Oh my god! You cannot hit because it's going to break. Right. So that's really hard to do because okay. you can't. You have to stop your motion just before you hit each other. Oh so the, it's so you have to go really fast, but stop. It's like hitting. Thing, you know, uh -huh, so, uh -huh. so you have to stop it. So that was really, really hard to do, actually. So you shoot it like in a couple of ways uh, with the the shorter one, and then and then you change swords. Oh my gosh! It yeah. must take a few different takes then to do all of this. Yes, yes, yeah. it's very exhausting. <laughs> you go home and you're like, I just worked out for eight hours. Absolutely. <laughs> actually, it's so, the swords are so heavy, and I had the vial in my hand, in my left hand, so I couldn't use both of my hands to hit. Oh. So I had to use only my right hand, and this muscle right here was so sore. Oh my god. Um, I couldn't brush my teeth that yeah. night. I was like, it was shaking. It was so yeah. Oh I was my so gosh. sore. But um, I'm gonna be in great shape for. Yeah, no two. I'm, I'll know in advance, <laughs> yeah. so I'll work you out. Can, like, start working those muscles beforehand. Yeah, uh, the fighting <laughs> thing will be down, so I'll be ready on set. So right now, um, after the premiere episode, your character Jocelyn's kind of in like a self-induced coma. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Thank you. So are we going to kind of see some flashbacks in the next few episodes? What can we expect here coming forward? Yes, you will see flashbacks. Okay. Uh, you will see different kind, not flashbacks, but I can't say exactly what they are, but you will see Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you will get to know what happened okay. between her and Valentine and Luke. Okay. Uh, that's great. Um, and then there's an episode that I absolutely love. Everybody loved doing it. It was episode 10, uh, which is sort of every character is the opposite of who they are. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. It was hmm. so much fun to shoot. Um, so, yeah, so that's really interesting. And then, you know, episode 13. Something happens, and oh. I can't say what it is, but I'm excited. Now, you're kind of the mama bear, obviously, to Clary. If you were in her shoes, what would you do? I would do exactly what she's doing. Yeah. I, I'd look for my mom. Mm -hmm. She's she's incredibly courageous, and yeah, I would do... I would never just leave my mom with right. the devil. No, <laughs> you know. So yeah, I would do exactly what she's doing. Yeah. yeah, she's kind of has like I feel like right now she has her guard up kind of with these people that she obviously doesn't know. They're killing people. She's like, what is this world right now? So it's got to be, you know, hard for her without Jocelyn being there. Yeah, overwhelming. Yeah, because yeah. Jocelyn was such a you know overprotective mother. Mm -hmm. um, she's but she's you know she's incredibly brave she she's i mean it's a lot of things happen in the first episode when i when i saw the pilot i was like oh my gosh i forgot that all these things happen it's a lot for her to take in uh -huh. um but her shadow hunter uh blood yeah comes you know <laughs> kicks in really uh -huh. quickly and she's like no i'm not you know this is i'm doing this i'm i'm getting on board and and uh she's incredibly brave yeah. Very proud of her. Absolutely. What's one thing that you want fans to take away from the series? Wow. Um, I think Shadow Hunters, you know, they're a hybrid of angels and humans, so they're pure at mm -hmm. heart. Um, I love that. I think you have to do things for the right They do things for the right reasons. Yeah. They, they do things to protect humanity. So I think that's really important. The other thing that I really like about the show and about the books, about the characters, is that um, the women are all very, very strong. Yeah. There's not one victim mm -hmm. in, in that story, uh, whether it is uh, a Seelie or a vampire or a human. Mm -hmm. Everybody, every woman is incredibly strong, and I love that, and I think that's a great... They're all really great role models for young girls, mm -hmm. so... I hope I hope the girls are gonna look up to these women, these characters, and I hope the guys are gonna learn from the women uh -huh. on the show. <laughs> now, all the fans want to know: Are you Team Clary and Team Jace? <laughs> oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jace is a cool kid. Uh huh. 
Yeah, I'm not going to talk about Dom. Yeah. Dom Mitchell. <laughs> right? Oh, I would love for him to see this interview. Um, yeah, of course I'm, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like in the premiere episode, he kind of took over, you know, that role that Jocelyn had been doing for her because, you know, she needed protection and he was kind of there for her. Yeah, he was, you know, taking charge and being a man and yeah. I like that. Although I do, I do love Simon. I love, he's so cute. Loves Everyone loves Simon. Simon. He's kind of my little boy. I keep, and he's like that in real life too. He's Aww. yeah. He, every time I we're together, he's like, I, "Can I just give you a hug?" <laughs> he's so adorable. Alberto is so adorable. Uh-huh. He's a great, great guy. Good. And he's not. It's so funny because I talk about them like they're kids, but they're not kids. They're, <laughs> right? They're young adults. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. But um, uh, he's an adorable kid. So uh, Simon. I uh-huh. mean, so I think I'd root for Simon too. Yeah. But Jace is strong. Right. Yeah. Either way, I think we'll be happy. Yeah, I think so too, yeah. (laughs) All right, well, thank you so much for chatting with me today, and we're looking forward to the rest of the season, and season two, everyone. Yes. Yes. fingers. Tune in, download, watch Freeform. Absolutely. Netflix and everything. And where can they find you on social media? Oh, uh, my Twitter is, what's my Twitter? It's Mademoiselle. M L L E Maxim Roy. Okay. And I'm also on Instagram, but my Instagram is Miss Maxim Roy. Maybe I should just change them and because I'm I'm French Canadian, so okay. I have French fans, and uh-huh. I don't want to you know set them aside. Right. So uh, I have to keep some French in there. Uh, but yeah, and I have a Facebook page also. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.